This is going to be a general overview of the 911 circuits wiring solutions. So let's build a vehicle and let's build an admin or chief's vehicle. And we're going to start with the CH15. All right, so in this we have the first five circuits are hot all the time. That's a 70 amp capable uh, circuit. The next three circuits here are lighter duty. They're also hot all the time. This circuit is a bypass circuit. It's a wire that just runs uh, through the system. And this circuit is for your siren speaker. It's a siren speaker interrupt. If you were to have a problem with the siren, and let's say it has to be on, the officer says it has to be on for 20 minutes before the problem occurs, uh, you would remove this resistor from its holder, replace the uh, fuse, and you've muted the siren by 90%. Then once you've serviced the siren, it's in the shop, it's not loud and offensive, you put the resistor back, uh, fuse back in, and you're back to full volume. And then these circuits, uh, currently, because of the way that we have this configured with the ignition uh, hookup, is these are going to be on and off with the key. We're going to assume that the chief wants to build a Chevy Tahoe. So in that case, we would uh, get this bracket. And by the way, the, the, all of our systems are vehicle universal. So Ford, Chevy, Dodge, boat, doesn't matter. What makes it vehicle and location specific is actually the mount. So let's mount this up for a Chevy Tahoe. So we're mounted to the mounting bracket for the Chevy Tahoe, and we're going to take our power wires, which come with it, obviously, and we're going to mount our circuit breaker to the unit as well. All right, so let's mount it, our circuit breaker to the unit. So the mounting bracket, the vehicle-specific mounting brackets, um, are no holes drilled. So this mounts to the factory Tahoe uh, through this stud. Um, now your power connectors are all waterproof and they just plug in. This is obviously to your master battery on the vehicle. Through your circuit breaker, obviously our connector. And we have some pass-through wires through the connector as well. Uh, siren speaker wires, a ground, which is for the circuitry inside here and a, just a single pass-through wire. So what we haven't talked about yet is the output uh, of the system. And this is a Camlock waterproof connector, um, 15 circuits output, and just plugs in and locks. From there, you have your 15 outputs, um, all individually fused, obviously. All your wires are labeled every three inches. Uh, because it is a Camlock system, I can unplug it single-handed. Simple. So as you can see, our solution is uh, modular, very simple. Obviously everything is waterproof, connectors, um, the unit itself. Some of the mounting brackets are steel, most of our mounting brackets are, are plastic, but the mounting bracket is the only thing that makes it vehicle specific. So if you wanted to put this in the Chief's Tahoe and for some reason you didn't want it under the hood where this particular mount uh, mounts it, uh, there are other mounts that will mount it on a slide tray on the side of a console. Um, inside the glove box, pretty much whatever you want. So, the chief, because he's a chief, six months later he decides he doesn't want a Chevy Tahoe and now he wants the new Ford Interceptor SUV. No problem. All we do is we disconnect our wires from the vehicle and unscrew it from the system and our panel comes out and goes to the new Ford Interceptor SUV for the Chief via a new mounting bracket, which is this mounting bracket. So the, the system that we just had in a Chevy Tahoe is now transferring over to a Ford. Okay, and this is now ready to go to the Ford Interceptor for the Chief. So we still have the Chief's um, Chevy Tahoe that we're now converting into a full patrol vehicle. So now we go from the CH-15, which had 15 circuits, to the CH-27. And this is going to mount to the same bracket that was in there before. And we're going to plug our power wires back in, which are pre-existing from our last install. And we're going to plug our output wires back in from the Chief's vehicle and all the admin equipment that was in there. And in a very short amount of time, we've gone from 15 circuits to 27 circuits. 
So to go from the CH15, which is 15 circuits, to the CH27, uh, this is the extra output connector here, and this is the only extra wiring that you need to do for your upgrade to 27 circuits. All right, so the CH27 is functionally identical to the CH15 on this part of the board. So you still have your initial ones are hot. Your next three, again, are uh, light duty, hot. This is your bypass. This is your siren speaker. This is a mute again for the siren speaker. And this is your ignition circuit. But now what we've added is two more ignition circuits for a total output of 27 circuits. So we've talked about the fact that it's 27 circuits and that these three circuits are ignition controlled via the fuse up here. What we haven't talked about is what if you want a timer um, on your circuits. Super simple, this is how we do it. This is the 911 circuits timer and it has a lot of the features that you're used to plus some that you don't. But not only is the timer available obviously as a standalone item, um, if you wanted to add this timer into the unit itself or order it with the timer already on board, this is how it's done. And normally, obviously, we're not going to have hand tight pieces here, but so we're going to add a timer, and our timer now is modular and it literally just plugs in. And now, what we do is we change to a different lid, and by putting that in. We now have a timer in our system that controls these three circuits independently. So now we install the fuse for the timer. And now we've overridden the ignition fuse, so these three circuits now are controlled by the settings of the timer. And we'll talk about the specifics of the timer and some of the unique things to it besides the fact that it's modular and plugs in. We also have a timer available that's a two-stage timer which gives you independent controls of these outputs. So hopefully this overview gave you a little bit more of an idea of what the 911 circuit solutions involve and we covered the CH15, the CH27, uh, modular, waterproof, uh, simple connections and non-location or vehicle specific. A simple solution.